you laugh, man. What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I'll be reviewing the Modern Warfare 3 Open Beta again. And the reason why is because this version of the Open Beta is completely different to what I played in the first week. And they did some tweaking on the sliding and also on the SBMM. It was super bad on the SBMM, which is one of the first things I want to talk about. So uh, I really want to start off with the negatives about this open beta, what happened now. So uh, one of the first things I want to mention is the SBMM. It was super bad. If you played Mosh Pit, if you played Mosh Pit, you should know it was an ocean of sweat. It was so bad. It was filled with players that don't even pay the bills. They probably don't even go to school. They probably skip school. You know, they probably don't even have a job. You know, these type of players were playing on Mosh Pit this entire open beta. It was so bad. People sliding around, people jumping around. I mean, you make some damage against these people and they're super, they'll are they be super laggy, dude. They'll be teleporting around the battlefield instead of running around. It happens so often in Mosh Pit. I was like, dude, Mosh Pit is so toxic as hell. Why even bother? Why even stress about it? You know, so instead I ended up playing some more ground war and then I found out that Rust 24 seven, for some reason, it felt a lot more fun and easier. So I was like, you know what? Let me play some Rust, you know? And that's why I got the gameplay in the background going 50 kills and 20 deaths. So I did pretty good. So uh, that's why I ended up playing Rust and all. Um, anyways, moving on from the SBMM, um, the slide canceling thing, I think it's so exaggerated. I think it's, it's a broken mechanic at this point. Dude. Everybody gotta admit, it's a broken mechanic that everybody's abusing right now. It's not a feature that needs to be in the game, to be honest. I think Modern Warfare 2019 had it right. I think Call of Duty Black Ops 4 had it right. I think those type of movements should be available into the current Modern Warfare games. But, of course, it's not going to be a thing anymore because people are actually praising to what it is now. I'm a completely different player. I mean, I've played since Call of Duty Black Ops 1. I know what's right and what's wrong for the game. But, of course, the majority of the kids are going to think some other way. So, I really can't say much about this because regardless of what I say, it will be controversial to everybody. And be like, well, you're just an old timer. I'm like, well, I experienced Call of Duty in its prime. So, I mean, what else can I say? Um, anyway, so moving on from that... Um, HP 150 for fuck's sakes, dude. This actually feels like I'm playing Apex Legends at this point. And I played Apex Legends for like the first eight seasons. So um, I'm telling you right now, it feels like Apex Legends at this point. There's too much health. There's exaggerately too much health. And imagine we had the Juggernaut perk on this game. Damn, we're, we're so close into playing like some type of a game where we're just playing an RPG. But no, it feels like Apex Legends, to be honest. The health is too much, man. They need to tone it down. The time to kill is too much. It's too long. And people get away with everything. If anything, if the HP was 125 or less, I would have actually had like 80 plus kills in this gameplay itself. But instead, we're playing at 150. It's too much, man. You can see a bunch of the, the kills that I got so close to in this gameplay right now that I didn't get because they're just jumping around or something. You know, it's laggy. You know, it was that close. And I was like, how can how did I not get that kill? So um, HP 150, in my opinion, needs to be toned down to 125. And maybe if you want to get HP 150, maybe make a ballistic vest kill streak. I think that will solve that problem. You know, we don't need to have HP 150 at all times. You know, make it maybe make it like like Warzone. You know, you gotta get combat plates in order for you to get that extra health. I think that will be the most legitimate way to make an excuse of like, okay. This is the reason why you can't make that much damage because this guy's wearing the extra ballistic vest. It will make sense, but right now it doesn't make sense at all. But of course, you know, this new generation of players are going to think otherwise. Like, oh, you're just going to adapt to it. Dude, I've seen those Twitter guys. It's so bad, dude. I feel like most of these people that I'm playing with now, I cannot even, like, associate with because some of these players are so new. They never played the old school games, man. Like, they outdone us, man, at this point. So, really can't, even if I do say that I want this change, I'm going to get, I'm going to be against with, you know, against everybody because everybody thinks, like, oh, this is actually a good idea. Like, dude, it's not. It's just saving your asses from doing some jumpy, jumpy bullshit. You know, go ahead. You know, you want to take advantage of it? Go ahead. You know, right now is your time to shine. So, um, I mean, my time to shine was back in the day because everybody had low health and I was fast. You know, I wasn't even jumping at all, not even sliding, and still I was kicking some ass. So, Good times in the old times, but I guess this is a new way to play the game. So, but that's those are my, were my biggest complaints about this game. The good thing about this game, I think, is the old school maps still. I mean, some of the good stuff I already explained it on my first open beta review. So, um, the weapon selection is nice. 
I don't know what else to say, to be honest. The servers are still laggy. So, yeah. So all the good things is still the same. Just the bad things have add, have been added more. Like, there's more in the list now. So uh, that is it, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. I know it's controversial, and I apologize. But this is what I think. I don't, re I don't expect changes, but, you know, that's what I think about the game. So the final review score is a 7 out of 10. Well, that is it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.